Howdy, it's Tyson the Rand here. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching my videos, appreciate it. So I know I'm a new channel, and I know this game is three years old. And why the fuck am I doing YouTube for it? Well basically, I play this game fine. It is my favourite game, my favourite shooter. So that's why I still play it after all this time. <laughs> Some people just hate that, but anyway, that's why I play it. See, I don't play for any other reason, just because this game is fun to me, and I still enjoy it. And the only way I can enjoy this game is when I play competitive. So that's why I play a lot of league play, I don't really like public, because there's too much randomness to it. It's just all these things that I don't like in it, like UAVs, C4s, and stuff like that. But this gameplay here, this is actually... This is actually from when I used to play CG, and this is my CG4 team, and this is actually, the team we're versing is actually a really good team, I believe they were CGP for a, a short while, a real short while, and this is actually an ODC match that um, we ended up coming second in, so we got slapped by the team the first, the team that came first, and we had a lot of connection issues, but we just got fucking rolled, not this team, but yeah, we went pretty well in this ODC. I'll get a couple games from that and chuck them up. So I'm basically going to do a... In the mind of the Rand. So, okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm pushing Petrol because... This side is the best place to get spawns from. Petrol side is a lot better than other side for spawns. But because, mainly because you have two ways you can attack from. Where they don't have an overview of the whole street. Where they can just slaughter you from. So Petra's always a better choice. See, I see it's 20 seconds. I'm going to rotate to this next hill and try and get some cutoffs. See, I know my teammate who's in the hill is the OBJ player. He's jumped in the hill, and I'm going to try and stop them before they get to the hill and kill them so it makes them spawn even further back. So we keep spawning Petra because they have hay control. So I, what I do here is see all my teammates on the map are coming now. So I go back alley because I kind of want to wait for them to get here because I don't want to push the hill by myself. You want to wait for your teammates. This is why I'm hiding. I'm waiting till my teammates get close enough so that we push together. You never want to push by yourself because you won't break the hill against the proper team. If you push by yourself, all you're doing is feeding them kills and giving them streaks so that they can smash you on the next, on the next hill. See, I've decided that I'm going to push this hill one more time just to try and get this kid off it. Just to not let them have that full 20. And it works out. See, as you can see, we've got a player in green and they're trying to push green. For this hill, never, ever, ever push boxes unless you're desperate. Never push boxes. Always take the extra 10 seconds or 15 seconds or whatever it is to get your whole team to rotate around green and push in from green side because you've got top red that you can control. You, you will spawn a barn, so you just constantly spawn right next to the hill. You have street, you can control pretty easily. And you also have the hill, which is one door for them to come into, and you can just slaughter them through that. It's a lot easier to defend, and it's a lot easier to get points on. See, I'm pushing up. This is about as far as you want to go if you're cutting off. If you go any further, they might spawn closer to the hill. So about here, so I killed that guy, so he's going to spawn all the way near Grandma, because I killed him at L wall. That's why you see me pushing out, I'm not kill whoring, it's called tactically kill whoring. <laughs> Let's see, they pushed all of them pushed green side. So that was a smart play by them. So there's about 17 seconds left, so we're gonna start rotating onto this next one. And what I want to do here is probably check backward and try and get some picks and then push out spawns. That's what I should have done. So animals the beast just taken on the hill. Just a weapon, that kid. Absolute weapon. See, so we've got back control, which is good. You want back control for this hill because pushing Grandma Street is just its just a nightmare. It's basically suicide. Because they know where you're coming from all the time. You, when you come from the other side, they don't really know where you come from. You come L Wall, you can come, you can push around the back alley, Yoko Bab, you could go top or bottom wood. You got all these options. So we had designated roles for the team. So we had OBJ, Slayer, Anchor, and all that. But you don't need to stick to those roles. Like, I'm the Slayer for the team. But if the OB no one's on the hill, I'm going to jump on the hill. I'm just going to be like, no, I'm not OBJ. I'm not jumping on the hill. See, I know this isn't as relevant as it used to be, but say you want to play league play, and you're like a super sweaty 
in league play like me. So I always try my hardest because you know Michael Jordan says it doesn't matter who he's versing, he always tries his hardest because if you are if you're always trying your hardest, when you finally verse the team, it's gonna test you. You're always in that mode of, of just going hard. So just don't fuck don't fuck around. Like, I don't really ever screw around. I always just try and like smash people unless they have no thumbs. You can see our teammates are watching street and I'm trying to get this side alley kid. There's probably some spawn on barn. Oh mate. Oh mate. So this is back when the sentry gun was allowed in, in um in uh league play and CG, which was it was really, really overpowered. Twenty seconds for the next hill is okay to rotate. So he's most likely gonna push kebab. They're probably gonna be pushing from tractor side, but they're gonna wanna spawn in like wood area and push through kebab to try and break us because your back alley is the best place to push. You see, I've got that sentry gun up there, and that's basically blocking the whole tractor, so they have to push back alley. I used to prefer to cut off back alley because it's a lot easier. This corner here is amazing. You sit in that corner, no one ever checks it, and you always get people just run straight through kebab. They don't check the corners. And you get a couple free kills sometimes, sometimes three kills. I've got reports on that on that spot. And then, then you, once you get a couple kills, you push out and you push into about here. And now, right now, I'm just chasing kills, getting an early rotate because I know our team's basically indestructible in their hill. Like, there's nothing they can do. They've got a lockdown unless like a miracle happens. So there's probably guys on back green side. But I see my teammate over there, so I know maybe there isn't any more. I know they're going to be rotating, so I'm going to try and get some cheeky little cutoffs. Most likely there might be one pushing L wall. But I think that he's seen me when I ran to L wall. He was top grandmaster, I think he's seen me there. See, what we should have done there, I shouldn't have pushed L wall, I should have went down through bottom wood and out the back here, but I got a good spawn so it doesn't matter. I think we are just doing sloppy plays because we were so far ahead. Barn, that's a good spot to sit if you have an M8. Just want to hold that spawn. And literally, if you just hide there and you wait, sometimes you'll get two or three of the guys trying to push the hill and they don't even notice you and you can get a few kills. So they're probably going to be spawning petrol and grandma. I've just seen one bottom wood, so they're going to be a back ring. Alright, I remember these kids used to talk smack about me. used to say that I can only shotgun, and then this happened. So I thought that was a funny game play. And, um, yeah, it was good playing with the team back in the day. I still really love it. And I, I do miss the old competitive scene, so I'm looking forward to Black Ops 3. Looking forward to getting back into competitive again. I do have a full-time job though, so it's kind of hard to um, put the hours in that I used to because I used to be a full-time nerd. Full-time nerd. But now I've kind of got a life. <laughs> as, as small as it is. And so I doubt that I'll be one of the top players on Black Ops 3. But I played the beta and it was pretty sweet, so I'm looking forward to it. Appreciate your view. You have a fucking sick day, cunt. Peace.